Not only can an end screen like this be super cool, but it can also help you retain your audience on your channel by sending them to another video or a playlist on your channel that they will actually find super useful. This works a lot in your favor because YouTube loves to reward people for actually keeping them on their platform. Hence, when they're actually moving from video to video on your channel, the more YouTube will actually push your other videos to relevant audiences. My name is Brady, and today I'm gonna be showing you guys how you can actually add your end screen from start to finish like we do in our videos. If you guys are new here, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, go ahead and smash that bell icon so we can keep bringing you guys awesome tutorials. With that being said, let's get started. First things first, at the end of your video, I want to make sure you have at least 10 to 20 seconds urging people to actually go take action, like subscribing to your channel or going to another video or playlist via the end screen. Your end screen will come in at this time with call to actions that will get people to click on them and then they will go to the next video. I'm going to quickly go over the elements you can add to your end screen, starting off with videos. This is any kind of video, recommended video, the best video for the viewer. Playlist, you can actually make a playlist or a series. The subscribe button, obviously, so they can subscribe to your channel. And of course, you can even link another YouTube channel if you're actually collaborating with somebody or anything else now once we're actually in YouTube studio and you have uploaded your video if you just go to video elements go to add your end screen you will see that by default there actually is some templates you can use readily available just by clicking the plus icon you can add them and simply move them around or you can go and hit element and you can actually create your own custom template however there's not a lot you can actually do from this design point of view unless you were to create your own custom end screen I'm gonna go ahead and leave a video up top here for you guys to click on but for now we're just gonna stick with the default templates I'm actually gonna go with one of the default templates here the one video one subscribe you'll see as soon as I click on it it'll actually add it to the timeline now by default this is going to be around 20 seconds and if you want to actually make it shorter all you gotta do is simply click here and drag it to your liking now you'll see when you actually hit play when you're around there you will see that these come in now if I don't actually like this positioning all I gotta do is simply click and drag and move it to where I like it and if you want to actually go ahead and add your own custom elements all you gotta do is go to that top left and let's say I actually want my playlist to be on there as well and you will see you know, let's say this playlist right here you will see that it'll actually add it for us you just want to go ahead and line that up and then just like that all your elements are synced and they should come in all at the same time so I actually went ahead and added just one more element this one actually comes in before all of them you will see that this one pops up and then the other three will pop up all at the same time and when you are actually happy with that and you've moved them all around and you feel like you've got it down all you gotta do is hit save and then you're good to go if you were to want to go ahead and add an end screen to another pre-existing video all you have to do is click details on that video you'll see in the bottom right there will be an end screen here but just by clicking the end screen button it will actually bring up the editor here so you'll see that it'll actually have default already set to the end of your video where you can add the end screen right from here but this one what I'm actually gonna do is gonna go ahead and import from video by clicking this you will see that it'll bring up all your videos and you can actually import the same end screen for every one of your videos or you can use a specific video for example the one we just made by clicking here if you guys did enjoy this video Make sure, of course, like the video. Go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel for amazing tutorials. If you guys haven't checked it out already, go in the description to check out our awesome tutorial on how to actually create your own custom end screen. With that being said, I'm Brady with NVIDIA, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.